All right, after we install the PCI card and we boot up the computer, the first thing we'll notice is a welcome to the new, <clears throat> I'm sorry, welcome to the found new hardware wizard. We're just gonna go ahead and place this off to the side for right now, just basically ignore it. And then you're gonna take the Geovision version 8.3 disc and put it inside of the DVD-ROM drive on your computer. Now most of the time Windows auto plays the disk. If it does not auto play the disk, you can simply locate it and start and then my computer and it's right here. But as you can see it auto played it. So let's go ahead and just get started. First thing we're going to do is install the GeoVision drivers. So we'll click on the first option. And then we'll install and remove the GeoVision GB series card drivers. Go ahead and click install. And GeoVision will do the rest of the rest of the work. Okay. Once it's installed, you'll see it installed successfully. Just go ahead and click exit. And then on the GeoVision screen here, we're gonna ignore the install GeoVision USB device drivers, and we're just gonna click the button for home. Um, we're gonna ignore the install DirectX, and we're going to install the GeoVision 8.3 system. Go ahead and choose yes to accept the license agreement, and then click GeoVision main system. Okay, this is a pretty important screen. You have the options of installing the GB600, 650, 800, or any one of the combo cards, the 1120, 1240, 1480, and then the 2004-2008 series. Now this is a GB800 card, so I'm gonna choose the GB800. If you have a 600, you'll wanna choose 600, or if you have a 1480, you'll choose the 1480. Very important, if you install the wrong card, then you'll get a key pro error and you'll end up having to reinstall. So let's go ahead and choose next after you select the right card and then just choose NTSC and click next. And then we got the resolution of Windows. The most common one is 1024 by 768. So I'm just going to choose that and click next and then click next again and next again. I'm gonna go ahead and add it to the startup because I want it to start when Windows starts. If you do not want it to start when Windows starts, choose no. I'm gonna click yes. I'm not gonna install the IR remote. Now it takes a few minutes to install. Now it's almost done installing and what's gonna happen here is it's going to install the IP camera drivers and some codecs. And it takes a few more minutes. And once this is done installing, it's gonna want us to reboot the computer. We will reboot the computer. And I'm just going to go ahead and choose no, but I want you to choose yes. I want to restart my computer now. 